SOP for clock spring handling. Use the standard SOP to open the airbag unit. Keep all four wheels straight and take out the ignition key from the barrel. Using the ratchet, now we have to open the steering wheel. This is the nut and this is the ratchet. Take out the nut and the washers. Now using the steering wheel puller, take out the steering wheel. Here for the ease of video making, puller is not used. Now, this is the very important part of the SOP. To prevent the clock spring against neutral sitting disturb and breakage of internal parts of the clock spring, we have to apply two tapes at the upper portion of the clock spring as depicted. Ensuring this particular step, clock spring neutral setting will not get disturbed and issues of airbag light on, horn not working, cruise switch not working will not come. These are the two applied tapes. Now take out the lower IP panel and remove the sh lower shroud as depicted in the SOP. Take out the yellow interconnected connector and white interconnector of the wiring harness and the clock spring, ensuring the connector lock is not damaged. Now open the three locks of the clock spring. Lock number one, lock number two, lock number three. Take the clock spring and keep it aside. Now you can perform remove refit of combination switch, clock spring, steering shaft, rack and pinion of related components of steering system. But do follow the application of the tape in the clock spring ensuring the wheels are st in straight condition and steering is locked. After the remove and refit of the steering system and other components, we have to refit the clock spring back again. Fit the interconnector and the lower shroud. Fit the upper shroud. Now again this is a very critical part of this SOP. The two tapes that we have applied at the outer periphery of the clock spring, we have to take them out. Failing to which may create problem. This is how we can remove the tapes. Now fit the steering wheel back again. Do the interconnection. Apply washer, tighten the nut using the ratchet.
do the interconnection of the uh, airbag unit fit the airbag unit 